On the bench I have a uh, Kenwood TS50. So this is a radio I like to use uh, portably. Um, it's completely functional. It has only one issue and I'll just demonstrate. So uh, this is the radio on. Change the frequency. Turn it off. Turn it on. And it retains the frequency that it was last set at. However, if the uh, 12 volt supply to the radio is disconnected and then reconnected it resets to 14 megahertz so this is an indication that the uh, lithium battery for uh, memory storage has expired uh, so the job today is to replace it uh, with uh, this battery now this is not the exact type uh, used uh, in the original uh, Kenwood. Uh, the original is actually a little difficult to get uh, and, and a bit expensive. This is a much cheaper uh, battery. Uh, we'll have to do a little bit of modification to it, but uh, it should work fine. So uh, that's the job for today. So the, uh, the thing to do now is to uh, open the radio up. Now the battery is on the lower side uh, we do have to take a few screws out of the side then the um, the bottom screws okay we're just uh, going to access the uh, lithium battery so that requires um, removing some screws from the side So uh, there's five screws on the bottom that have been removed and two on each side. need to uh, expose that section of the radio so uh, this is the uh, lithium battery that uh, has got to be removed we'll just uh, switch the iron on okay uh, just waiting for the iron to uh, heat up a bit Now, I'm going to use a solder sucker, however, to just get the heat flowing, let's put a bit of uh, solder onto the uh, site. some uh, velcro on the bottom a bit interesting so expecting that but that's come away fairly cleanly so 
So uh, it's a positive side down, the positive is where the tag is. So what I'm going to do is just trim the uh, tag so that it will line up with the pad with my uh, side cutters. Okay, that was a, a little bit more difficult than I thought. Um, I have actually trimmed it with a uh, nice sharp pair of side cutters, um, but it's, uh, you know, um, quite tough steel. Uh, so I took a little bit of uh, manipulation. Um, uh, that's what we've come up with. So what I'm going to try and do now is the adhesive um, pad on the back of the original. I'm removing that. I'm going to try and... and, and place that on the uh, new battery uh, just to uh, restrict any movement. Now I don't believe this is the uh, Kenwood recommended um, solution but the uh, pad is still quite uh, sticky so there's no reason. Now this is the uh, positive side down and we stick that on there and it just seems to have uh, taken all right. So the idea is it will just That's looking good. So uh, I just need to extend this tab here. I'm just going to put a, a small uh, copper lead on there and that will go. So I'm just going to put a small copper lead on that and that will go to this side here. And the, uh, the pad should sit nicely. So we'll just uh, trim up a little copper lead. I apologize for not having the camera on while I soldered it in, but it is um, pretty self-evident the uh, tab soldered in. Um, I, I pre-soldered the uh, tab, uh, it soldered in nicely. We've got the little lead here that goes to the negative side, also good. And we've got the Velcro um, pad stuck to the back of the uh, battery, so that was recovered from the... Uh, original um, uh, lithium battery so the uh, cover sits a little proud which is what you want and it then will not contact the cover once it's on so we'll just put that on and check and you can see through the grill here that the uh, battery is probably six mil below so uh, there's no contact uh, this is also the negative side of the battery so it would possibly not be an issue anyway um, I, I'm guessing that you could actually uh, put a bit of tape on there um, but I'm not going to do that uh, the next step is to um, switch the radio on and see whether this uh, has worked now there is a bit of a procedure uh, in this um, uh, with the uh, lithium battery uh, replaced we're now ready to uh, power the radio on and uh, test whether this has worked or not now there is a uh, Kenwood service bulletin for this radio regarding the uh, replacement of the lithium battery uh, so this is service bulletin ASB 1015 um, and the uh, subject is lithium battery replacement notes. Now there is a bit of a procedure uh, and uh, the uh, procedure simply says that uh, after replacing the battery the radio needs to be cycled on then off. Uh, it goes on to say that failure to follow this procedure will result in premature failure of the battery. Um, so, um, we'll now power the radio on. Off. On. 
I will change the frequency, switch the radio off. So same as we had before. Now we'll disconnect the supply. Okay, now we power the radio on. And fantastic, the uh, radio has retained the frequency it was last set on, so the uh, memory battery is working. And uh, we'll just uh, put the screws back into the cover, and uh, that job is now complete. Thank you for watching.